We're going to talk a little bit more about arithmetic operators and we're going to sort of expand our discussion to talking about what are referred to as expressions and expression evaluation. Now previously we've already looked at doing simple kinds of things like for example asking the Python interpreter to evaluate 2 plus 3 What's actually going on here is that we are providing the interpreter with what's called an expression. In this case, it's an arithmetic expression. We have two numeric operands, the two and the three, and we have the addition operator. So this is referred to as an arithmetic expression. An expression is just a combination of operators and operands that wants to be evaluated. In this case, that evaluation yields 5. And so we've already seen addition and subtraction and multiplication and division. But what we need to do is talk a little bit more about what happens when you have expressions that contain more than, say, just one operator. So for example, what if I created an arithmetic expression that looked like this? two? plus 3 times 4. Now the question is, first of all, is this a valid expression? And the answer is yes. But secondly, how does it get interpreted? How does it get evaluated? And the answer is that in order to know how the evaluation is going to take place, you've got to know something about what to do when you've got different kinds of operators. In this case, we've got a multiplication and we've got an addition one of those two is going to have to be done first. Either the addition is going to add the 2 and the 3, or the multiplication is going to multiply the 3 and the 4, and that will occur before the other operator is evaluated. The way that this is dealt with in all programming languages is to assign what's called a precedence to the different operators. And Python, like most programming languages, assigns a precedence to multiplication that is higher than the precedence for addition. And so the rule is that when you have an expression like this one that has a multiplication and addition, the multiplication will be done before the addition. And so the 3 and the 4 get multiplied together, giving us 12, and then the 2 gets added to the 12, and the answer should be 14. Now what if we really wanted that addition to be done first? Well we would have to use parentheses. Parentheses force the operator inside the parentheses to be performed at a higher precedence than if it weren't in the parentheses. So in this case, the addition of 2 plus 3 is forced to be done before the multiplication by 4 because it's inside parentheses, and so 2 plus 3 which gives us 5, and then 5 times 4, and the result turns out to be 20. Now, there is one additional arithmetic operator that we have yet to talk about, and that is what's called the exponent operator. The exponent operator will raise something to a power, and the exponent operator is a double star. And so, for example, 2 raised to the fifth power is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and the answer there is 32. What's interesting about the exponent operator is, first of all, it uses the star, which looks like multiply, but remember, multiply is a single star. Two stars together will be the exponent operator. But the second thing about it is that it has the highest precedence. In other words, exponent operator happens first, then multiply and divide happen second, then addition and subtraction happen third. So, for example, if I were to say 2 raised to the fifth power plus 1, the answer is going to be 33. Why? Because the exponent operator happens first, and then the addition operator happens second. If I really wanted it to be 2 raised to the 5 plus 1 power, I would have to put the 5 plus 1 in parentheses, and therefore it becomes 2 raised, in a sense, to the 6th power. To make this a little more complicated, if I said 2 multiplied by 3, 
raised to the second power plus 1, can you figure out what that would be? Well, the exponent operator would be done first, so 3 raised to the second power would be 9. Now, the multiply gets done second, so 2 times 9 would be 18. Finally, the addition happens third, so 18 plus 1 gives me 19, and that's the result. So, it's important to realize that with respect to arithmetic expressions, a mixture of operators is going to have to be resolved so that the Python interpreter knows which operator to do first, which operator to do second, and so on, and precedence becomes very important. Exponent is first, addition, or I'm sorry, multiplication and division second, and addition and subtraction third. Now, one last thing. If we were to write an expression like this one, 2 plus 3 plus 4, now most of you would say it makes no difference whether we do the 2 plus the 3 or the 3 plus the 4. And in a sense, that's correct. However, realize that the Python interpreter has to know which one it's going to do first because it can only do one operation at a time. So the rule is that we associate these operators from left to right. That is, the 2 plus 3 would be done first, and then that result would be added to 4. Now, we're going to get the same answer regardless, but remember, the Python interpreter has to have a strict way to do the evaluation.